What's up guys and welcome to day 400. Um, I had something planned today as far as a regular vlog, but I thought, you know what, since day 400 is a milestone and maybe people will see that more than other ones because people look up milestone episodes on YouTube, I thought, why not showcase what my channel is about? And the main thing that I pride my channel on is supporter interaction. If you guys know anything about this channel, I try to answer every single comment that comes through. And so I thought, why not for a 400 episode, for day 400 episode special, I would do a reading your comments. Now this, I have some good comments and I've got two or three bad ones as well. Cause I thought, why not react to those as well? So without further ado, let's read your all's comments. Also, let me know below, is this something that you would like to see on a regular basis? If so, I don't mind making this even on top of regular vlogs, um, and I can do it either taken from comments from this video, you can just leave the most random comments in the world that you want to about any subject, and then maybe once every couple of weeks, even once a week if you want it, I will do a video where I just read your all's comments and just react to whatever crazy stuff you guys are saying. Deal? Let's do it. Now there's in no particular order, but we are gonna get started and I'm just gonna scroll through as I have them. So, here we go. Sweet Retro Gaming, Noah's cool, Thousand Year Door is awesome. Thousand Year Door, I wanna play, thanks also, Noah is pretty cool, I think he's really awesome. Uh, Thousand Year Door, I have never played, um, the only Paper Mario that I have played is the one for 64, and I do plan to play Thousand Year Door soon. Are you going to start comment of the day again? Maybe, um, I would like to, it just depends on the comment level that comes in. I would love to do question comment of the day. I think that's a really cool feature. It's a great way to interact with you guys. Um, but it just kind of depends on the comments. I would love to do it daily, but maybe I'll just take it day by day basis. If there's comments, I'll react to something. Or again, we can do something like this on a weekly basis where I just boom, read off your all's comments. Why the F is this in my recommended? No idea, man. YouTube, uh, a lot of times just puts recommended stuff in random places. I get a lot of recommended stuff that's not even close to related to the stuff that I watch. So, sorry that it was recommended, but thanks for checking it out. Thanks for leaving a comment. You probably ate all their food. That's why they fired your fat A. That makes no sense at all. First off, GameStop is a game store. They don't sell foods, and I don't eat discs or plastic, so I apologize for that inconvenience. Secondly, Come on, man, be more original with your hate comment. I'm fat. Do you think I've never been called fat before in my life? Obviously, you're new to my channel because I have an entire video about being fat. Um, but yeah, be more original with your hate comment, man. I've been called fat literally my entire life. You gotta do better than that. Autistic pig that makes daily blogs because you think people care about your life. Newsflash B, no one will ever care about you. Uh, first off, you have zero subscribers and I'm getting ready to break 1100. Not that that really matters. Secondly, you're obviously new to the channel because in every one of my vlogs usually I mention about how, not everyone, but a lot of them, I mention how Noah is the main driving factor of my vlogs. I started it as a way to document our process to having Noah, and then after he was born it's a way to document his life. And then obviously I include some of my stuff as well, so I guess we'll have to agree to disagree on that. You're a Bucks fan and you live in Virginia. Cool. Absolutely. I love the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, I've loved the Bucks for a long time. I love them right about the time when Ray Allen uh, came to the Bucks, uh, which I was pretty young at that point. Um, I was nine, I think, and kind of right when you're at your own age, kind of developing love for your own teams and stuff and, and stuff like that. Um, I do. I love the Bucks. Um, I hope that they can keep Giannis locked down because I would love for him to stick around. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, we can do decent in the playoffs, make an Eastern Conference Finals appearance maybe. If we're lucky, maybe a finals appearance? I don't know. We'll see what the future holds, but absolutely, I love the Milwaukee Bucks. I really like this guy. Thanks. I really like people who leave friendly comments and subscribe to my channel. Even if you don't subscribe, thanks for checking out the video. But yeah, I appreciate that. I really, really like friendly comments. I don't know where your hair stops and your beard begins, bro. I know, man. It's crazy. Uh, it's usually worse, especially when I don't have my hair up like this. Um, but yeah, it kind of just goes all just, it just doesn't stop. I need to shave this actually soon. I keep seeing that in the camera and every night I'm like, I gotta shave that, but we'll take care of that. But absolutely, man, it's crazy. That's how it's been for a long, long time. I think I got sunburned today. That scratched me a little bit. Um, but yeah, it just kind of just continues all the way around. Rip Macho Man. Ooh, yeah, absolutely, man. I miss Macho Man a lot. Hashtag longer vlogs. Uh, this came two days ago. Longer vlogs are coming. It's just taking a little bit to get back into the swing of things since I'm having to kind of take care of Tracy with her, uh, you know, with having both of her ankles broken. Um, but yeah, longer vlogs are coming. I'm working on getting some stuff planned for you guys. Uh, so yeah, just bear with me and we are going to get the show back up and running like normal. Is this the new Why I Left BuzzFeed videos? 
Uh, I have no idea if it is or not. The video that this was commented on I made over seven months ago. I made it in January. Um, I don't know why it's really getting kind of promoted right now, but uh, it's super cool. But I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But uh, it seems to be helping my channel out, so cool. Glad Tracy is healing. Glad to see you back to your regular schedule. Absolutely, she's doing great. She won't say that probably, um, but she's doing really, really well. About as good as you can. She's made a lot of progress uh, getting up and walking, you know, supported with a walker and whatnot, but uh, she's doing a really, really good job. It's going to take a while to really get back into the swing of things, um, but we're maintaining and we're, we're making it the best that we can. Tracy is a warrior. One of the strongest people I know. Um, I just, I don't understand how she's getting through. This would be miserable, and she is, she's handling it like a trooper. Glad to see y'all making it, bro. Hope things continue to go well. Things will be back to normal soon, I'm sure. Absolutely. We are making it, like I said, the best that we can. It's very, very tough, but hey, man, uh, instead of looking down on stuff, we try to look at the positives of everything. And hey, man, life's what you make it, and we are trying to do the best that we can. Amazing video. That's an impressive collection. This was left on a Rubik's Cube video. Uh, I have not done any Rubik's Cubing stuff really for a long, long time. I haven't bought a new cube, honestly, since Noah was born. The last cubes that I bought were almost eight months ago. It was my um, 9x9 and my... Um, it's like a speed cube for a 3x3. So I want to buy some new stuff. This guy actually left a recommendation, which was a, it was a 13x13. 13 13. It was a specific brand. So I may check that out and do a review on the channel because you guys know I love cubing and stuff like that. If you're an old member of the channel, if you're a new member, I love Rubik's Cubing. So you can check that out. So, But hopefully we can get something like that and get some videos up uh, that you guys would enjoy. Praying for a fast recovery. Absolutely. I appreciate that. We appreciate that. Anything that you guys do, uh, send us good vibes. Keep us in your thoughts. If you're a praying person, keep us in your prayers. Uh, anything just to try to make this recovery faster, you know, just kind of just send us some good vibes and stuff, and, and hopefully we can get through this as fast but safely as we can. Thanks for sharing, man. I'm always interested in people's stories working at large corporations and how they treat them. GameStop is no surprise. Absolutely. Um, now, I have heard that GameStop has changed a lot, but I do know that usually when I go in there, the employees still, because a lot of them there are people that I waited on when I worked there, um, and I know that a lot of them still hate it. So, uh, you know, it, it's not really any different from any corporation, but uh, there seems to be a lot of nonsense that goes on in that company. All superheroes start from done tragic events probably dumb maybe also we're gonna start from dumb tragic events uh but all jokes aside me and aubrey wish her a speedy recovery absolutely that'd be awesome uh, i appreciate the the hopeful uh, speedy recovery but that would be super awesome if she developed some kind of superpower i don't even really know or care what it would be but that would be fantastic if she becomes some sort of superhuman and uh i don't know that would be awesome hope both of you are doing all right we're doing pretty good, um, doing about as well as we can be, but we are making it, as I said before. Um, it's a tough, tough situation, but, uh, you know, like I said, life is what you make it, and we choose not to let this necessarily be a downtime. We're still trying to continue on and strive and do the best that we can at what we are doing. Do a cube review. I don't have anything really to do a cube review on. I mentioned it earlier, I don't really have anything new, um, except for the stuff that I got eight months ago, which I haven't really done a review on my 3x3, my 9 but uh, perhaps maybe I could do that in the future. It's just really about working it into the vlog in a natural way, but uh, we'll see what we can do because I know that some of the people that are subscribed to this channel enjoy it, do enjoy the Rubik's Cube stuff because I think my second, or th I think it's my second biggest video is actually a Rubik's Cube video, uh, probably until this GameStop video catches up to it. I think it's gonna pass it, so. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll get something like that and, and we'll, we'll try to do something for you guys. NWO for life. You are an awesome YouTuber and Cuber. Keep up the great work. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I don't really think that I'm super great at either, but I think I do a decent job um, for the most part at both. Cuber-wise, I'm not really that great. Um, I lucked up. My fastest solve on a Rubik's is 48 seconds, but I kind of lucked up and everything landed perfectly. But um, I'm glad that you enjoy that. As far as being an awesome YouTuber, I appreciate that. As I said at the beginning of this video, I pride myself on responding to the community because without a strong community, who are you? Um, and I think that that helps me out. Um, and I don't really do anything unique. I basically have taken a blend of what a whole bunch of people do and I've kind of crammed it together and then found my own style. If you'll notice, I'm sure you guys can, I take a lot of inspiration from guys like Sean Duras and uh, Casey Neistat. 
um, and I'm also a really big John Hill fan, and I take kind of stuff from them, and then a couple of other guys like Roman Atwood and stuff like that, and then there's a couple of smaller vloggers as well that I've taken a little bit of stuff from, and I just try to, I try to do it, but not in a blatant plagiarizing way. I try to make it my own, and I think that that helps out a lot. Dude, you're getting closer and closer to 500 vlogs. I am exactly 100 away. In 100 days, we will be hitting day 500, and that'll be nuts, man. That will be, that's a crazy number to think about going. And technically, had I not had a couple of things come up, I would be even closer. Um, but last year, if you'll remember, I didn't hit 365. I did it every day, but the episode number didn't hit there because when Noah was born, I was in the hospital for two or three days. I uploaded every day, but not in a vlog fashion. It was more of just updates. And then obviously when Tracy broke both of her ankles this past week, um, I still uploaded, but again, it was an update fashion. But barring anything like that, hopefully in 100 days, we are going to get that done. My plan is, I want to, and this is never going to happen, but I want to, uh, I would love to challenge Sean Duras to a cereal eating contest. I've tweeted him a couple times, and I haven't really gotten any response, obviously, because who am I? But, uh, hey, man, if you want to see me challenge Sean Duras to a cereal eating contest, tweet him, at Sean Duras, let him know, because I want to make that happen. I'm going to tweet all the time until I can get some kind of word, but that's my plan. Come on, Sean. I'll even pay for my plane ticket out there. I'll do anything I need to. Let's make this happen. Nice, I watch Big Brother. I love Big Brother. It's one of my favorite shows. I used to be really against a lot of reality shows. Still am for the most part. But uh, Tracy, when we first got... This was before we started dating. Tracy was like, I watched it. Was it? It's probably not good that I don't remember. Don't, don't tell her. Um, but uh, she would be like, hey, I watched this show called Big Brother. Um, and the season was ending. And then the next year, she was like, we should watch it. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And I think my main interest is I've always had an interest in like psychology and stuff. And it's just a giant, just chess match of just mental intelligence. And then there's some physical comps too, and just your mental uh, toughness of, and how you can deal with stuff because you don't have any connection to the outside world. You don't know who's lying, who's not. And it's just a really, really neat concept for a show. Hopefully I can get famous because they don't really cast normal people anymore. Everybody that they put on the show seems to be someone who's already made it, which kind of sucks. But hopefully I can get big enough to where one day I'll be on Big Brother. That would be awesome. Freeze milk in an ice cube tray, you weird iced milk heathen. Um, I love iced milk, in case you're new to this. Uh, I If I drink milk, I generally put ice in it. And the reason is, the fridge to me doesn't keep milk cold enough. I like ice in my milk. But that's a good point. I could just freeze milk. That way, when the ice melts, it doesn't turn into watered-down milk. I need to try that. Also, if you've never drank milk with ice in it, highly recommend it. It's amazing. Maybe I'll see you at Vid next year. This year was amazing at Vid at VidCon. Yeah, absolutely, man. I would love to go to VidCon. Uh, QTube, um, I've talked to him back and forth occasionally as well. I know he's a YouTuber as well. Um, and I, just, I would love to go to, to, to VidCon. I'm just not financially able to do that right now, plane ticket and hotel and all that stuff, because obviously they're not going to be paying for me to go out there, because who am I? So, um, But I would love to go to VidCon. I think it would be a great opportunity. Um, if I could save up, maybe I could go, but it just kind of depends. We'll see where we're at in a year from now, because I'm not stopping this. So, But uh, absolutely, man. I think it would be fantastic to go to VidCon and uh, meet up with a couple of, especially the smaller YouTubers um, that I talk to on a regular basis. All right, guys, and that is going to be it. I just wanted to do something fun and community-based for the 400th episode. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the support. I want to thank everybody who's been here from day one, people who've been here since before the vlog started, and people who subscribed maybe today. It doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot. I can't wait for the next 100 episodes. I can't wait to hit episode 500, and uh, we're just going to keep this thing growing. We are almost at 11 hundred subscribers. We are four away right now. That is nuts, man. That's so crazy. From a kid who, well, older guy, I guess, someone was 30, but uh, from somebody who never thought they would even accomplish one subscriber, more or less 10, more or less a thousand, we are growing and it is fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want this to be a regular thing, leave a comment below. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be random. You can literally say my room is red. It doesn't matter. Leave random comments. We will do uh, reading your comments every single week if it gets enough comments or if we need to wait a little bit every couple weeks, uh, but we will do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.